Yo, what's good, dude? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got the Miami Dolphins are almost a perfect thing. Let's check this the out. Miami, the yeah. Miami Dolphins, oh, the once the dominant team, a really good really long time ago. The Dolphins haven't won a playoff game since 2000. Dolphins only looking pretty stacked five right now. Times since then, but they have made it the past two seasons. The first two years yeah, under Tua, head coach Tyreek Hill, he's done a good job. Jalen Waddle in now the OBJ. Back to back seasons is a big deal. But now they've got lost some key pieces on the defense. Chiefs Chop Robinson in the first years. round. The Chiefs feel relatively unbeatable and are just the juggernaut in today's NFL. But the Bills have slipped up a little bit, and it's very possible that Miami could be the new king of the AFC East. Yeah. Apart from McDaniel, Tua Tagovailoa is the, the other Jets, big though. factor. He's been a major a topic for a back. long time now. He made a big jump in 2022 after the Dolphins went from Brian Flores to Mike McDaniel at head coach, and he had 25 touchdowns and 8 interceptions, but he did only play in 13 games because of some concussion issues. Luckily, yeah. he came back good in 2023 and just led the league with 4,624 yards and had 29 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. His play is a huge decider on how good the Dolphins are and can be. Miami definitely has the potential to be a really good football team. And a lot of that has to do with Mike McDaniel and Tua Tungavailoa and, and the rest of the roster that surrounds them. So pretty much everything. The Dolphins Tyree have made Kill, some most pretty likely. big moves this offseason. I mean, Tua now, didn't really start to click until Tyree got oh, there. Let's keep that a bug, bro. Junior to that list if you want. Tua was really struggling. He was in Baltimore last season with 565 yards and three touchdowns. Still wasn't anything too crazy. But it was his best season since 2019, which was his first year in Cleveland. Odell didn't play in 2022 and was a huge part of the Rams Super Bowl run back in 2021, but more so in the mm -hmm. postseason before he tore his ACL. Before 2020, he had five 1,000-yard seasons in his first six years in the pros. The only one that he didn't, he only played in four games because of a fractured ankle. He hasn't oh, had yeah, a fantastic career since, but it'll be nice only having to be the third option in Miami. They did also sign tight end Jonu Smith, who is oh, yeah, coming off of a career-high 582-yard season with the Falcons last year. Aaron Brewer signed a three-year oh, deal, no, and is. he should be the new starting center now that Connor okay, Williams is center. gone. But I think really the biggest free agency additions for Miami have been on defense. They've got some serious dudes. What now. did they sign on Safety defense? Jordan Poyer is a oh yeah, one. Poyer went to the Ops. Buffalo, where he was this nigga went to the Ops. Recently got that shit is crazy, He's man. With a lot of injuries over the last I know the I know the Bills years, gonna regret that. Because Poyer's still Miami. good, even though he's getting older. He's still pretty good. He missed ten games over the last two years, but was really good in Tampa for three years. Miami also gave linebacker uh, Jordan Brooks uh, Jordan a three-year, $30 million okay. dollar deal. That's their Jerome Baker Seattle. replacement. He had 513 combined tackles over four seasons playing the middle of the field. They also signed Anthony Walker Jr., who should play inside. He's landed okay. on injured reserve for three straight seasons, but does have 79 career starts over seven years. Nigga, the did how the hell do you be on IR for three straight? Bro, if I was on IR for three straight seasons, I might just retire after that, bro. We lose both Honestly. Christian Wilk and Raekwon Davis at defensive tackle and have decided yeah. to replace them with seven yeah, Christian Wolf is going to be a tackles. huge um, Chris Greer is essentially just channeling his inner Billy Bean trying to replace Jason Giambi then the Dolphins also got cornerback Kendall oh, Fuller Kendall he should be Fuller. the dude on the okay. other side of Jalen Ramsey and has started 93 games mostly in Washington that's a pretty solid pick up. and won a ring with the Chiefs in Super Bowl 54 the Dolphins brought in a lot of good football players in the offseason free agency went pretty good for them and they followed it up with a solid draft. So the Dolphins had the 21st overall pick of the draft and used it on defensive end Chop Robinson. He was a big name in college and an absolute stud at Penn State. His first year in college was in 2021 at Maryland, but then he decided to transfer to Penn State. He had a good <laughs> sophomore season with 26 tackles and five and a half sacks, and he's coming off of 15 tackles and four sacks last year. Not to mention, he was named first team All Big Ten. Then okay. in the second round, the Dolphins took offensive tackles Patrick Paul out of Houston. Yeah, he didn't Patrick see the Paul field is. much in his first two years in college. He redshirted his first season and did start the last three games of the year, but then he only started in two games in 2020 before suffering a foot injury. But finally in 2021, he started in every game for the Cougars at left tackle and was first team all AAC in 2021 That's and in up. 2022. Okay. In 2023, Paul decided Whoa, to come back heck? to Houston. Yo, to be named yo, 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 yo. What is this? What is this exercise for right here, bro? 
Nah, that don't. Nah, that's a yo. Nah, they having a little too much fun. Miami didn't have a third round pick. That's crazy. If you remember, they got in trouble for tampering with Tom Brady and Sean Payton. Paul obviously helps a lot, but the Finns have brought in some great playmakers. In the fourth round, they took Jalen Wright from Tennessee. He just consistently got better each season in Knoxville. He had 400 yards as a freshman. Because the speed that he has added to already a very fast team, especially at the running back position, where he was named second. Team all SEC. And the Dolphins took two wide receivers on day three. Both, funny enough, last names are Washington. Yeah, Malik, Malik Washington, Washington and Taj Washington. Is a guy Washington. that I got to see play a couple of times last like, year. Like they, they get. They, I don't know how they keep how they keep getting away with it too. Getting these fast ass niggas, bro. Because I fuck with both Malik Washington and Taj Washington. I watch both of their highlights. Both of these niggas are, are incredibly fast, especially Taj Washington. I just, I just don't understand how the, the Dolphins and the Eagles keep getting away with Virginia, shit like this. He had a combined 371 yards in those three games. He was super fun to watch and was just fantastic. He had 1,426 yards, nine touchdowns on 110 receptions. He had 100 plus yards in all but two games, including a 97 yard game at BC. He was just unreal. And it was a huge breakout season for him after he left Northwestern after four seasons. Coming to UVA, he was coming off of 700 yards and only one touchdown in 2022. Miami Damn. also took Taj Washington out of USC. He's coming off of easily the best season of his <laughs> collegiate career with over a thousand yards and eight touchdowns, catching passes from Caleb Williams. Yeah. Before that, he had three seasons with at least 600 yards, dating all the way mm, back okay. to his redshirt freshman season at Memphis. The Finns' other two picks at the draft were both on defense. Defensive end, Muhammad Kamara in the fifth. Yeah, and that was a... Patrick McMorris. Hey, that was definitely a sleeper pick that Muhammad Kamara Mary nigga, bro. Sixth. Camara played at Colorado uh, State for five for years. He really broke out in 2022 and was second team All Mountain West after he had 44 tackles and eight and a half sacks. Okay. But he was even better last season. He was the Mountain West Player of the Year and had 56 tackles and 13 sacks. Then McMorris had his own Yo, 13 in the sacks. West. He was crazy. A I don't know how he slipped that far in the draft. He must. State. He must have. It must have had like some issues, bro. Because there's no way a nigga coming off a 13 sack season slips to day three bro there's just there's just no way 90 tackles at cal miami had some good picks and filled a lot of holes put that together with some already good players on the team and the fins have a chance to be very good when you talk about the dolphins yeah. the first names that really come to mind are tyreek hill and Jalen waddle we all know that tyreek hill is a freak both on the field and apparently in the sheets you want a lady in the street but a freak Bro, come on. Why are you doing my boy Tyreek Hill like Hill that? Kill is game? a freak, both on the field and apparently in the sheets. You want a lady in the street, but a freak in the bed. He has six this. kids, including three <laughs> born last year to three different mothers. Damn, Tyreek. Kids off of Antonio Cromartie, but give him a little time. He's still young. Tyreek left Bro. The league last year in both kids born and Tyreek died like that. 1,799. He found That's the actually insane, bro. Times, tied for the most I know Tyreek had it like that. For the second most catches in the league with 119. He having bro, having three females pregnant at the same time is in insane work. And now was at over Hey, but he can pay for the child support though. He's he can afford that. Since being traded by the Chiefs. Jalen Waddle is the other true stud on that offense. He had over a thousand yards. He last dealt with injuries last year. Third straight year after being drafted in 2021 out of Alabama. On the ground where he mostered is coming off of a bonkers year at 31 Nigga years said old. Bonkers. Just rush for Yo, that is the whitest yards, shit ever, bro. 18 touchdowns. 18. It's the best year of his long career, and mm -hmm. it's not even close. The O-line looks a little different this season, obviously, because we talked about Connor Williams leaving and Aaron Brewer <laughs> signing, plus drafting Patrick Paul. But they did re-sign Isaiah Wynn, and both Teron okay. Armstead and Austin Jackson are still at tackle. On the defensive side of the ball, Jalen Phillips. Phillips and Bradley Chubb are coming, coming off injuries. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey and Javon Harland are there in the secondary, with now Fuller and Poyer. And David Long Jr. will play on the inside with Jordan Brooks and Anthony Walker Jr. now. I think it's pretty clear that Miami has a very good team. It just hasn't 100%. all come together in recent seasons. But be patient. I think the biggest concern is all of them staying healthy at the same time because Tyreek dealt with injuries last year. Um, Jalen Waddle dealt with injuries last year. We all know about Bradley Chubb and Jalen Phillips um, missing time a lot of time last year, especially Jalen Phillips. Um, you know, it's just all about them staying healthy. And I feel like if they can stay healthy, they're going to be a dangerous contender in the AFC. But, um, hey, y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think, bro. Um...
hey that's gonna do it for me hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did make sure you guys like comment subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on my post notification and notify when i drop another banger video we're on the road the 200 subs help me get that for more banger nfl content like this and without further ado i'm out gang